words that became hard to say. I am love and you. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Tuesday Night Live. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Alexa, stop it. <laughs> welcome to Tuesday Night Live. We're happy to, uh, you're tuning in. We we're just listening to a little bit of the Avit Brothers. I went to their concert. Uh, July 3rd it was. They, they, were, uh, they were great. They, I've only heard good things about that band. So, well, it's the second time I've seen them. I went with my brother-in-law actually, and um, they were fun. I'm not a huge David Brothers fan, but um, they put on a good show. And my brother-in-law said, "Hey, I want to go. Do you want to come with?" I said, "Sure." So, where'd you see nice. it? It was at whatever Sandstone is called now, Providence Medical <laughs> Theater, whatever it is, or uh, yeah. new, new stand, new Sandstone. New, new sandstone. New sandstone. So yeah. we're just listening to a little bit of the Avid Brothers as we were going live. So thanks for tuning in here. Um, what if you were you were talking right before we went live that you were watching something about tacos? Oh my lanta. So <laughs> if you ever want to know something that just universally, if you ever show up to my house and you're like, I just need to make sure that we're gonna make a good impression on the Sheeran family at this moment. Tacos are a universal love in my household. And my wife and I would probably forego any really wonderful cuisine for a high quality taco dinner. And so uh, Netflix brought out this new, and it's all in Spanish, um, uh, taco, it's like the history of tacos or uh, tacos and their origin story. And so uh, the first episode's all about al pastor tacos which is my favorite it's the flavor is unbelievable but the uh the if you don't know your taco history but <laughs> al pastor <laughs> is a bunch of marinated pork and it's an adobo style sauce that they marinated in and then depending on where you go in mexico or frankly where you go around here al pastor is done typically by putting all of these uh pieces of pork loin uh, that's been heavily marinated, um, oftentimes with onions, um, on a giant spigot, right? A big spit, and it, it's just rotated and heated slowly and cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked. And uh, the way that it's supposed to be served is a hot tortilla and hot meat. And you're supposed to basically, at least in Mexico, you're supposed to eat it as soon as they hand it to you yep. because you got to have the, the, the meat has to be hot when it hits your lips. And it's so good. Oh, so that's, that's on Netflix, huh? Netflix. Check it out. All right. Well, so welcome to taco Tuesday night live. Woo! So, <laughs> so we're not gonna really talk about tacos the whole night. Um, but, uh, we're just but if talking we do, about... I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tell, me send us right? your taco recipes. That's right. We're, Open so we've, we've changed up the uh, setup a little bit. I, um, some people were saying that it was too busy back there with the bookshelf. So I thought, hey, I'd rearrange the office a little bit. So we tell me what you think about this. And yeah. so again, my name is Father Kent O'Connor. I'm the pastor here at Good Shepherd Parish in Shawnee, Kansas. My name is Michael Shear, and I'm a uh, member of a couple of different councils with the uh, with the parish, but primarily a pew sitter, just <laughs> like you. Very good. So we're happy that you tuned in. And um, the episode tonight is called The Storm Before the Calm. And the, <laughs> welcome yeah, to the storm. Welcome to the storm. <laughs> where you've got, we're storming. And the idea is we want to brainstorm and yeah. live if possible. Uh, before we take a little break, we're going to take a little break here. We've been noticing that, well, summertime is just weird. And people aren't on their normal schedule with kids and school or whatever. Yeah. People are vacationing. I'm taking a little vacation. You're taking some time off vacation. Yeah. Uh, or whatever. So travel for work, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So, so it, it's just weird. And we thought that maybe it'd just be best for us just to take a few weeks break here. And, uh, and then we want to kind of retool and kind of see where we've been, we were talking a little bit before the show, what we've done well, what we'd like to improve upon. One of the main things is I think that both of us would like to do is kind of get a little bit more of a, of a schedule and schedule a little bit further out so we can yeah. kind of plan ahead a little bit, let people know about the topic rather than the afternoon before, yeah. let us know about the topic before yeah. the morning of, right? Sure. So um, so we just like to just be a little bit more planned. And I think we just like to take some time to kind of take a couple steps back. And it's not you, it's <laughs> us. But we will be coming back in August on the 27th. On the 27th of August, we plan to come back. Now, we might have a special episode 
the um, August the 8th, I think it is, we are planning a fall festival. And I noticed that on my calendar for that, whatever that Tuesday is, there's a fall festival meeting. Mm-hmm. And so we might, I might do a special episode, whether you're here or not. Um, I might bring some of the committee members in and we mm-hmm. might just do kind of a spontaneous, hey, let's do this uh, great uh, fall festival and we invite you to this um, to participate. So that might happen. But our normal schedule, we're going to come back on the 27th of August. That'll be shortly after school has started, but before Labor Day. So it's kind of things of really getting into the swing again. What I really would like is, and and Michael would like as well. We need your help. We need your, we need your help. We need your help. <laughs> so um, we're looking for ideas. And what topics do you want us to talk about? Uh, we are really, one of the goals is we want to bring people closer to God through this ministry. Uh, we want to be fun. We want to be engaging. We also want to talk about things that, you know, people want us to talk about. Frankly, we love Jesus, but we also love being relevant to what's going on in the parish and right. in your lives. And uh, the nature of doing a live show is the things that are going on in our perspective lives may not be relevant to the audience. And so what our hope is, is that you will uh, send your thoughts, send your ideas, send topics of all kinds that's right to us so that we can frankly start fielding some of these that are relevant and questions on the parish's mind right so how do you do that well you can if you're listening right now you can comment in the comments hey there we go catholic q a thanks james hey good to see you thanks for tuning in um james you're our number one fan absolutely so the question is though uh what's the cue so we can provide some a yeah. Um, and we can, we can give some cues and you can give some A's. So, um, I'd love to know more of those Q and A. And so, and that's kind of the whole hope of this whole format. That's why we do Tuesday night live, not Tuesday night recorded is yeah. because not we Tuesday want Tuesday night later. Or... <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> we want that interaction. We want, uh, you to be asking questions. And if there's something that we say, you'd like some clarification, we'd like it to be very interactive. And so that's been always the, the hope and the point of this show. And that's why I try to be faithful to this time of between 8.30 and 9 that we go live mm-hmm. for the show so people can kind of count on that. So yes, Catholic Q&A. So if you have, if you have those cues, send them to me. My email is frkent at gsshawnee.org. frkent at gsshawnee.org. That's my... We're going to put it in the description we down will. below as well. And uh, a bigger piece of this is also if there are... You know, I think the nature of anytime you're asking questions in a format, this is a way, especially in a live format, that you could get something that's really relevant to your life. That maybe you're afraid to bring forward in a live format that you'd like to be covered. And I know me, me personally, I probably would. I'm going to throw some topics out there that I'd like to discuss that would. I'd, I'd prefer them come from the crowd as opposed to from me, uh, but the biggest hope is that this is real present and relevant. Um, Cause obviously each week we can give you guys the news as to, as it pertains to good shepherd, but right. until we actually start hitting those nuggets that are most important and most relevant in our listeners and our watchers lives uh, it's, it could be white noise or it could just be too wild and crazy guys. <laughs> You're wild and crazy guys. <laughs> um, right. So, yeah, so we want to be real, relevant, 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 yeah. relevant, Reverent. revenant. That's both relevant and reverent. Revenant, that's, real. A, that's a bear movie, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great one. Uh, real, relevant, and reverent. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's what we said the first time, but we've got to well, we'll go, You know, it works. It's, <laughs> go back, a, it's a good one again. So, yeah. very good. Also, hey, thanks. Thanks, James. Um, Modernistics, American miracles are still happening. Yes, Saint like Saint uh, Pio. Awesome. So yeah. I don't know too much about Saint Pio myself. Um, so I'd like to do some more research. So what we'd like to do is come up with a schedule. That's a great, a great suggestion there, James. And maybe we can get that uh, suggestion. Someone also suggested that we talk about Fulton Sheen. Um, I think I got that suggestion like this yeah. afternoon. It's yeah. Like, I mean, I know a little bit about Fulton Sheen, but I want to do some like no, research. And- not enough <laughs> since this afternoon to warrant a whole episode on it. That's right. So um, that's great. So I'd love to love to do some more because, 
you know, part of it too is whenever I do a video or I teach or whatever, you know, you, you say that the, the best way to learn something is to teach it, right? Or to do a video on it because yeah. I have to be prepared. And so I have to learn it. And I have to be able to talk about it in a fairly concise way. And yeah. so a great way for me to learn more about St. Pio or uh, Fulton Sheen is for me to have have an assignment and say, okay, you're talking about Fulton Sheen on Tuesday night yeah. live on September, whatever the, that would be. And so that's a great suggestion. Uh, so keep them coming. Yeah. Um, we also, someone also suggested, you know, kind of Catholic, um, why do Catholics do certain things? Like, why do we bless ourselves when we come into the church? Why do we have a holy font? Why do we process with the cross? And right. All kinds of I stuff. I think that could be a really interesting topic yeah. as well. So send your thoughts. You can comment either in this video. If you are watching it non-live, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And again, my email is frkent at gsshawnee.org. Um, so that's what we want yeah. to do. We might also have some of those short topics as well. Those short little yeah, things. Catholic or, or what? Tuesday, not live. Tuesday, not live. From time to time. Uh, one of the other things that we do strive to do is most sort of talk about what is going on in the parish right now. And so in between now and the 27th, there are a couple of things that are uh, being planned for and prepped for. Um, there are still volunteers needed to help with the fall festival. Yep. So feel free to uh, assist in that. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers to help with the liturgy. Um, right. If you love singing, feel free to join the music ministry. If you love working the dials behind the scenes and have a good ear for music, we can always use more sound techs. Sound techs yep. That's a big need. Um, frankly, if you have a dynamic, robust, baritone voice, we can always use more readers. So as a parish... Those are some great things. If you if you think I am a fantastic business runner or uh, just been very successful in my career, we do need financial donations as well. <laughs> uh, so if you can't commit in time during the mass, you know, you can commit in a financial means because the parish is still operating at a deficit and we need your financial support. Very good. Also, on, a, on another note is that we have the um, we're also doing upcoming events. August 16th, we're doing a backyard party, which is, I mean, really low key. We're, we have a backyard here and we're going to, I'm going to show a movie and I don't know what it's going to be yet. Show a movie. We'll have the I playground. Still, I'm still uh, voting for the Sandlot. The sand <laughs> <laughs> but that's so my quintessential that's be August backyard. 16th. And we're hoping to have like several of these. And just the idea is just to get together and hang out and um, get to know each other, build up community. So uh, that's coming up as well on August 16th. So some great opportunities there. Um, why do we do what we do during different parts of the Mass? Excellent, yeah. James. Love it. Exactly. Keep them coming. Um, so yeah, real brief here tonight, and it's the storm before the calm. So keep the brainstorming going. Uh, I really want to have any ideas. And if you have any ideas about what, what you want the show to be, yeah. email me, let me know. And um, Michael and I will talk about it. If you'd like to be on the show, this is, <laughs> this is, you want to be in this chair, James, you can sit right here. Yes. Uh, or anybody. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 we're just, we're just two, two guys. Uh, I happen to be the pastor here and, and I happen to go to church. And I, right. And uh, we're just turning on a camera. And yeah. so if you'd like to be part of this if you'd like to be if you have something you'd like to say yeah. you know come on if you're a professional you. jingle writer and yes. you just like to donate to the church <laughs> we could use your jingles we could use a little bump, bumper music or <laughs> yeah. something we were talking about so <laughs> there you go um very good okay we got two vote sandlot okay all very right good. um so i think that's pretty much all that we had to say tonight is... yeah oh uh, one more note um I'm actually, uh, I'm going to be helping with one more thing at the parish, which is called Financial Peace University. Oh, we will be having that go here in the fall. Uh, dates will come out. Please watch your bulletin for that. Uh, it's a phenomenal resource for families to get on the same page about their finances. Uh, so oftentimes we hear that people argue about money and it, uh, life is too short to have discourse in your family around finances. And since we are a, uh, a dual language parish, we are going to be having that Financial Peace University in both English and in Spanish. Um, so awesome. more news to come on that. And if you have questions on that, you can reach out to me or you can reach out to um, 
Oh, goodness. Three offices that way. Who's, who's the third office down? I might uh, Mary Losick. Mary Losick. Thank you. Mary Losick and I are organizing it. And uh, you can also reach out to us uh, via myself or Mary. Uh, I'll put details as they come available in the description box. So. Great. So again, that's pretty much what we have uh, this evening. And if you uh, have an idea, let me know. And do me a favor, though. Send me an email so I have like a document because, yeah. you know, here's something that um, <laughs> people sometimes talk to me after mass, which is great. I love yeah. talking to people, but I can't always remember everything that people talk yeah. to me about. And so I always say, hey, send me an email because then I have it on record. I have I can go back and visit that. But it's just uh, it's an interesting thing as being, you know, as a pastor and as a priest yeah. that, um, I just can't remember every conversation that happens. And people have, I think people have given me some suggestions, but I, I can't maintain it. I can't remember. The it, spiritual so. retainer <laughs> up here is uh, <laughs> so, 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 not retaining all the time. Right. So but that's okay. Sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. But if, if you have got some ideas and if you want to be on the show, uh, it's an open invitation and we would love it. So we're going to resume August 27th uh, on Tuesday. And we don't know what we're going to be talking about yet, but we will do some uh, planning for that. Yeah. Um, so, you, hey, you said you're going to go somewhere. Yeah. So uh, our family, uh, Sarah's parents have a uh, they've moved from where they were living in Texas now to New Mexico. So my family and I will be moving, not moving, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll be moving for a week uh, on a vacation. Great. Uh, we'll be in New Mexico. We'll be in the uh, north uh, eastern part of the state little town called Angel Fire. Lots so, of vacations happening this time of the year. Yeah. So. I also have a travel for work to Dallas. So if you have taco places that you'd like to recommend in <laughs> Dallas, send them up to us. Res good. Respond in the comments. Well, thanks for tuning in for a Tuesday night live, the storm before the calm. Uh, would you like to close us in prayer? Sure. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, thank you for all the blessings that we've, the, we've reaped. Uh, today. Thank you for the interaction that we've had. Uh, we just ask your guidance uh, for us as a parish, and we just ask your guidance for us as human beings. Uh, just allow your spirit to fill us and move us uh, more closely into your will for our lives and less to our own. Uh, we ask all these things uh, through your mother, as we say, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm lo I am looking forward to August 27th, and we'll be retooled and ready to go. So tune in then, and uh, hopefully that school year schedule, people will be just more on task and more ready to go. And so we'll look forward to it. So until then, we will yeah. see you August 27th. Tuesday Night Live, retooled. 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 End the stream. I will end it. End it now. You got to do it. Now, will, All right.